right, this here video, we are going to identify and label shapes of histograms. Um, so it's really just important that we can look at histogram and tell some information about it. So first things first, let's talk about what is a histogram. So really, uh, it's a graph that shows the distribution of values in a data set. And there's actually quite a few graphs that do this, right, that show data sets and values. But here's the thing to remember about histograms. There's a few things, actually. So one, the horizontal axis, right? Remember, horizontals across the bottom are always going to be our data values. And the vertical axis is going to represent the frequency or the relative frequency. So relative frequency would be like a proportion, uh, usually in form of a decimal or a fraction. Okay? Um, also, with a histogram, it's a type of bar graph where the bars touch. So with a histogram, we are talking about continuous data. So the bars are touching and uh, we're showing the distribution of values. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk through the shape of a, of a histogram, okay? And what we would call those shapes. So here's the thing. The first one is uniform, okay? So if we're talking about, you know, this would be, and some of these are, you know, they're not labeled. So we'd have data values down here in the form of numbers. We would have the frequency on this side. But the reason we call this uniform is notice how all of the bars are the exact same height, right? That's what it means to be uniform. Okay? Now, how often does that happen, really? Nah, I would say probably not very. So we have things that are called unimodal, okay? So just pointing out the uni, right? Uni means one. Uh, so we're talking about... There's one high point. Everything else is below that. So because one high point is called unimodal. If we have a histogram where you will see there are two high points, and they don't have to be exact, right? But there's just basically there's two, uh, two tops of the mountains, if you will. This is bimodal because bi means two, right? So unimodal uh, means one, like a unicycle, one. Bimodal means two. And then if we happen to have more than two, we would call it multimodal. So anything that has, let's see, you know, here's a tall thing, here's a, like, it goes up and down. So kind of a, a you're talking about here and you're like, whoop, 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 whoop. it's got multiple peaks. That is multimodal. Okay, just kind of looking at the shapes. Now, we also um, can look at kind of the, uh, distribution of the shape. And that kind of allows us to have some other pieces. So when we're looking at this, right, this is unimodal because there is one bar at the top, one high point, if you will. But we'd also call this symmetric. So if you think about cutting a line in the middle, it's basically the same on the left and the right. So when you look at it, if you could, and it, again, it doesn't have to be exact. But when you're looking at this, if you could fold it in half, and it's pretty close to the same on both sides, we have a symmetric histogram. So in this case, it is symmetric and unimodal. Now, if something is skewed left, okay, this is also unimodal because we have one high point, right? So we are unimodal. We are skewed left. This is how I remember this because sometimes it's difficult. So you're looking at your histogram. And I say, okay, this is the highest point. So find the tallest bar in the histogram and then kind of graph. Like if we go, whoop, and then we go, whoo. So I look at this of which, if I'm sliding down a slide, because to be skewed left or right, you are sliding down a slide. And here on this one, I'm sliding to the left. And that makes it left skewed. So this is a unimodal left skewed skewed histogram. Similarly, we could have something that is right skewed. So again, here is our tallest bar, and you'll notice it just is smaller as you go. That would be a heck of a slide, wouldn't it? So if you get on this slide, you are sliding to the right, and therefore this is a unimodal skewed right histogram. And that's a little bit describing and identifying the shapes and labels uh, there of histograms.